Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com. My name is Ramandeep Singh. Students, beta, it's an important topic for your exam for the PNBSO Credit Officer and Union Bank of India Credit Manager exams. Yesterday, I already did a proper session on defining the beta. We did some numericals as well. MC, uh, numerical MCQs are very important. I did that yesterday on Saturday, I actually did that. So, we have done that. The link to attend that session is available in the description. It's hardly a 15 minute session. You can join it. So, let's start the session. My name is Ramandeep Singh, and uh, I'm been I have been teaching on bank exam for the last 12 years. This is my WhatsApp number. यहाँ पे कांटेक्ट कर सकते हैं इफ इन केस देर इज एनी डाउट और इफ यू वांट टू जॉइन द पी एन बी एस ओ क्रेडिट ऑफिसर कॉर्स इन विच वी आर प्रोवाइडिंग कंप्लीट कवरेज ऑफ द सिलेबस लेट्स स्टार्ट द सेशन व्हाट इज बीटा बीटा इट्स अ मेजर ऑफ वॉलिटिलिटी दैट आई होप मोस्ट ऑफ यू नो दैट इट्स अ मेजर ऑफ वॉलिटिलिटी और सिस्टमैटिक रिस्क ये वी डेड द डिफरेंस बिटवीन सिस्टमैटिक एंड अनसिस्टमैटिक रिस्क शॉर्ट में ये समझ लीजिए सिस्टमैटिक रिस्क इज द मार्केट वाइड वाइड रिस्क मार्केट वाइड रिस्क फॉर एग्जांपल आरबीआई इंक्रीज द इंटरेस्ट रेट इन द इकॉनमी इंटरेस्ट रेट बढ़ा दिया आरबीआई ने तो उसका इफेक्ट सारी मार्केट पे होगा राइट इफ समथिंग बैड हैपन्स एट यस बैंक यस बैंक के सी ने कुछ गलत लोन दिए जिसकी वजह से बैंक को नुकसान हुआ या आई बैंक के एम ने कुछ गलत डिसीजन लिए चंदा को चढ़ने तो आई बैंक को नुकसान हुआ दैट डिंट इम्पैक्ट द होल बैंकिंग इंडस्ट्री और द होल मार्केट ओके तो दैट इज एन अनसिस्टमैटिक रिस्क ओके सिस्टमैटिक रिस्क जो है उसको अगर आपको टैकल करना है तो यू नो यू नीड टू डू एसेट एलोकेशन यू इन्वेस्ट इन वराइटी ऑफ एसेट काइंड तो आप इक्विटी uh, इनमें इन्वेस्ट कर रहे हैं एज एन इन्वेस्टर इक्विटी गोल्ड रियल इस्टेट अनसिस्टमैटिक रिस्क को आप दूर करने के लिए यू नीड टू यूज डाइवर्सिफिकेशन डाइवर्सिफाई डाइवर्सिफिकेशन वॉट इज डाइवर्सिफिकेशन डाइवर्सिफिकेशन कैन बी यूज टू टैकल अनसिस्टमैटिक रिस्क अन सिस्टमैटिक रिस्क को टारगेट करने के लिए को को मिनिमाइज करने के लिए यू नीड टू यूज डाइवर्सिफिकेशन सो एज आई टोल्ड यू कि यस बैंक में कुछ घपला हो गया तो उससे यस बैंक के शेयर्स नीचे आ गए या यस बैंक में अगर आपके पैसे पड़े हुए हैं तो एज अ डिपॉजिटर आपको खतरा है राइट तो हाउ यू कैन मिनिमाइज दैट रिस्क बाई डाइवर्सिफिकेशन यू ओपन मोर देन वन अकाउंट राइट आप एच uh, में अकाउंट है आपका आई में आपका येस बैंक में अकाउंट है राइट बींग एन इन्वेस्टर यू इन्वेस्ट इन मल्टीपल कंपनीज मल्टीपल सेक्टर्स राइट सो डाइवर्सिफिकेशन सॉल्व द अनसिस्टमैटिक रिस्क डाइवर्सिफिकेशन से आप अनसिस्टमैटिक रिस्क से को आप दूर कर सकते हो राइट सो बीटा इज अ मेजर ऑफ वॉलिटिलिटी और सिस्टमैटिक रिस्क ऑफ अ सिक्योरिटी और पोर्टफोलियो कंपेयर टू ओवरऑल मार्केट टिपिकली रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय एस एन पी फाइव हंड्रेड दैट इज फॉर US in case of India that is Nifty 50 right how to measure the unsystematic risk it is not even possible right uh, what a particular md or ceo is doing we 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 don't know that right but systematic risk we can do that stocks with beta of higher than 1 are considered more volatile let's do the interpretation if beta is equal to 1 It's very important from your examination point of view. I have seen this particular question. Beta measures the volatility and the systematic risk. That is a very important question. Asked in the multiple exams, ये बार बार पूछा जाता है. And this one, diversification can minimize unsystematic risk, and that is also important. Question number one, question number two. Okay. Interpretation of beta. Beta if is beta is equal to one. Uh, the assets volatility matches the market the the asset is as volatile as the whole market if beta is equal to 1 if beta is equal to 0 the asset is not correlated with market at all market ke sath koi correlation hi nahi hai right see if the nifty is going like this right uh, if the beta is equal to 1 of a particular security is going along with the with, with the this nifty ma line okay nifty graph so if uh, the beta is zero it has no effect on the on the price of a security 
if beta is less than 1 the asset is negatively correlated right the market is growing let's say the nifty is growing uh that uh, let's say real estate or miracle example i guess gold is a example uh the price of that other asset is going to go down okay so that is negatively correlation <clears throat> if beta is uh less than minus one or beta is more than one the asset is more volatile than the market more volatile than the market agar ek se zyada hai to zyada sensitive hai right they are positively correlated if it is minus one then it is negatively correlated and more volatile right so if the beta is between minus one right and one then the asset is less volatile than the market let's say the beta of a security is let's say 0.7 hdfc bank ka beta let's say it's 0.7 hai, hai, hai uh, let's assume it is 0.7 that means it is less volatile than the market okay so very important interpretation yaad rakhe hai isko bahut hi important hai what does uh, it mean if a security or a portfolio has a beta of zero uh, this question has been repeated like multiple times that means it has no correlation with the market and this question has been repeated like multiple times bar bar same questions repeat hota it has no correlation with the market which of these securities is likely to have the highest beta government bonds gold and silver obviously the blue chip stocks they are not the highest beta categories technology stocks most of the times it's the highest beta category beta is a measure of volatility or systematic risk of a security or portfolio compared to the market as a whole very important question okay so beta measures the sensitivity of a security or the portfolio and it measures the systematic risk okay which of these statement is true about beta and systematic and unsystematic risk beta measures only systematic risk it does not measure unsystematic risk nor it is possible to measure the unsystematic risk it is practically not possible to measure and quantify uh, unsystematic risk possible hi nahi hai, right next question uh, the best way to reduce or eliminate unsystematic risk in an investment portfolio pause your video and try to answer this how you can do that by diversification diversification among asset classes ho sakti hai diversification within the market ho sakti hai, right so if you are diversifying the more you diversify uh, the more you are going to eliminate or minimize your unsystematic risk okay which of these is an example of unsystematic risk is se kya example hai unsystematic risk ki a global pandemic that disrupts the economy that's a global pandemic systematic risk a change in interest rate that affects the whole bond market a strike by the workers or or a war that causes political instability strike hai kisi company ki that is a company specific risk so that is an unsystematic risk okay c is the correct answer students i hope you like this short session if there is any doubt in your mind you can ask your doubts on this number right uh join the pnbso credit office of full course it's available on bank exams today if there is any other doubt post your doubts on my whatsapp and i'm going to answer your doubts and that's all for today students uh, list of our successful students in the past who cracked the exams the pnbso credit officer 2023 exam using our study material and the courses i'm really happy for them so you can be one of them in the future if there is any doubt in your mind please ask your doubts and we are going to answer you thank you and have a very nice day bye bye